Hello all. In this video, we will see how to use uh, EL expressions in Oracle Fusion Cloud and also uh, what are the, uh, how it will helpful for us uh, to hide uh, a particular icon or something uh, in, in, in this screen. So, uh, so before uh, using that, uh, we need to activate a sandbox and then we need to activate a tool called a structure and in structure we can use this uh, el expressions to hide so first i'm going to the uh, sandbox space page so where i can use uh, where i will create a, a sandbox so here i'm adding structure tool so, and uh, application composer is not needed for now, but I'm adding. So once it is activated, so we can go to the structure, right? Uh, in structure, we can uh, do the changes, but before that, uh, we'll go to the home screen and then we'll see uh, what changes we need to do. So here we'll take few examples. Uh, so uh, since this is an administrator login, so I'm taking um, administrator example. So for admin, I'll hide a few icons and few groups so that we can visualize in this uh, particular screen only. But in real time, we may need to uh, restrict for few other roles also. So here uh, we need to hide, uh, uh, like for, let's say uh, we need to hide uh, subscription management group completely. And then uh, in sales, uh, in sales, we, uh, we can hide this uh, workspace. So this workspace and activities also uh, like will hide. Okay, this is our requirement. <clears throat> so for that we'll go to uh, structure in the activated tools and then uh, we need to see how we can do. So uh, the first requirement is uh, under sales. So we need to hide workspace and activities, right? So first I'll click on workspace. So we have already one more workspace group. So we can hide this one. So here uh, we have uh, two two type uh, two ways. Like one one will show on Navigator and another one will show on Springboard. So Navigator is nothing but on uh, so this this page and Springboard is nothing but when you click on home button. So whatever screen you will get. So that is called Springboard. So here we'll see uh, navigating nav navigation expression. So here. It says uh, for few roles, uh, it's not showing. So this is more like a uh, like a true or false condition. So we need to uh, say when it should uh, give return or when it should give false. So based on that, uh, this icon will be showed uh, in the UI. So this is the place where we can write our EL expressions. So EL is nothing but expression language. Um, so th that is the full form of EL. Uh, so here, uh, so uh, we can write uh, expressions, right? So here you can see uh, security con context is already uh, used. So here, uh, like like in Groovy, we don't need to define the security context in a variable. So directly we can utilize this security context and we can directly check the user in role. Okay, so, uh, so now our requirement is uh, uh, we need to restrict for uh, sales admin. 
so so we will remove this one and uh, we'll just copy so there are two ways of uh, 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 using it like if we if we want to use multiple roles so we can use uh, using uh, this way for example um, if i want to hide only a sales admin so i can i can just put a sales admin here and so the, so the expression will check if the logged in user has this role or not if it has it will return true else it will fall else it is false and if i put not here and it will say if uh, if sales administrator is there so then it won't uh, consider so for egg so we can use uh, this not symbol also here so this means uh, so if uh, if administrator is there so the the icon will not be visible but if i uh, just remove uh, this not so now it will be visible so now our uh, requirement is like we need to restrict it so i am using uh, not equal to okay so if i have to uh, place multiple roles i can just put comma and then i can use uh, another another role that's it so now i'll copy um, if these both roles are not uh, in the if the user don't have these roles then only uh, then then it will it won't uh, appear so after keeping this expression here uh, we can uh, validate it so this validate is not the expression validation so this is for this user for this user uh, this expression will return true or false okay so this is not a expression validation so uh, we need to remember that or uh, we need to note that so it is not a expression uh, validator it's a validator for this user so now if i just click on this uh, validate right the value is showing false because so this user have is having sales administrator role so so it is uh, giving false so that's why even if i uh, if i save this in the navigator it won't show if it shows true here for this user it will show so i'll save this changes and similarly if we want to uh, restrict at uh, springboard level we can restrict but once we restrict uh, in the navigator we can't see in uh, springboard so to to see in the springboard we should first enable in the navigator so after saving we'll just go to uh, home and then we'll uh, see now we'll click on home so now uh, in the sales ui the workspace icon is removed right and you can see here uh, in the navigator also it removed so so this is how it works so if we want to enable uh, in the in so if we want to enable back we can enable again so now we'll see how to disable complete group so we discussed about uh, subscription management right so we'll disable that for admin and we'll also disable uh, activities so for but activities is also 
uh, similar to the workspace we have did. So we'll go for uh, uh, the other one. We need to see the subscription management uh, where it is. Uh, I can find this group here. So I'll click on that. And here I can see up, um, uh, expression again. So I'll just change the role here. So the expression is already there. So only uh, and it is not. So it's okay. So I'll just validate. So for this also it is false because this admin, this user has sales administrator role. And I'll save. And now I'll go to navigator. And uh, here I cannot see subscription management. Okay, and from UI also we'll see. Okay, so there is no subscription management uh, icon. So this is how we can do. And in addition to this, we have few more uh, expressions, few more ways. So the another type of expression is uh, for checking profile values. So if we have some profile option and based on that also we can uh, we can write this expression. And if you have one more than one condition, we can put and 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 or uh, like this. Okay, uh, and and then one more uh, condition. Okay, and if we need one more, uh, if we need to put our condition, uh, so after this, so we can use this bracket and then we can separate and then we can put our and then our uh, one more condition. So like this. So this is how we can uh, build multiple uh, multiple uh, like multiple expressions multiple uh, conditions we we can check using uh, this el expressions so a similar way uh, here we have uh, uh, we have in this example we have uh, like we can use profile options the profile option in manage uh, admin admin profile options so we can we can we can get that and then we can check not equal to any means not equal to and eq means uh, equal to uh, so so for not so we can use not or uh, this uh, in this way also so anything it will support so and then one more is uh, like user granted resource or not so generally these expressions are uh, inbuilt expressions so it will be there uh, for few icons and we can write uh, with the existing condition uh, here actually it will check whether this uh, uh, user has uh, the uh, grant means role like security security access is there or not it will check and then uh, other conditions uh, so like this uh, we can uh, we can hide or we can enable the uh, icons and groups in, in structure using el expressions so i'll be uh, i'll be attaching this information in um, description uh, thank you